Hey guys, welcome back to Stock My Closet. For today's project, I have taken 2 meter plaid fabric. And this is the measurement I am using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. Let's start with the cutting. I have folded the fabric by half in width. So here I have 2 layers of fabric. I am taking open side as center. And this is the unfold side. Firstly, I will trim the uneven fabric on the top now here i'll mark the waist measurement which will be hip round plus ease or losing divided by four in my measurement hip round is 37 inch and i'm adding seven inch of ease 37 plus 7 is 44 and dividing it by four i'll get 11 inch for crotch divide hip measurement by 3 and deduct 1 inch out of it in my measurement hip round is 37 inch 37 divided by 3 is approximately 12.3 inch and i'll deduct 1 inch out of it so i'll get 11.3 inch i'm taking round figure 11 inch leave 1 inch on the top for belt and mark a point at 11 inch i'll just extend this point mark the same waist measurement on this line and join these points now on this line i'll mark thigh measurement and for that take upper thigh round measurement add ease and divided by 2 in my measurement upper thigh round is 24 inch and i'm adding 6 inch of ease so 24 plus 6 is 30 and dividing it by 2 i'll get 15 inch now i'll draw front crotch curve now i'll mark the plazo length that is 37 inch in my measurement exclude one inch on the top for belt and i'll add one and a half inch for bottom finishing so i'll mark a point at 38.5 inch now i'll mark half of bottom round that is 10 inch in my measurement now to join these points you can use curve ruler if you want to give slight shape to the leg or you can mark straight line like this adding one inch of seam allowance on the sides and quarter inch of seam allowance on the crotch and with this front marking is complete now i'll cut it out So I've cut the front, now I'll cut the back. To cut back, again I have folded the fabric by half in width and I've taken open side as center. This is on full side. Now place front on the back and we need to make few changes on the back side. First of all, keep around 3 inch of fabric on the top of back. Now mark straight line from the front crotch like this i'll extend back crotch by two and a half inch i've not included margin so i'll add margin on the back separately and now i'll draw back crotch curve i have increased back crotch length by 3 inch on the top side it varies for different sizes and i'll just join it to the front waist like this i'll extend bottom round by 1.25 inch and join these points i've added seam allowance on the side and crotch and now i'll cut it out So I've cut the plazo. Now I'll cut the belt after stitching front and back sides. I'm adding pockets to the plazo and I'll be using same fabric but I'll show you cutting on the contrast color fabric so you can understand it properly. Keep the fabric on the top of plazo. Match top and sides. I'm taking length of pocket 11.5 inch. 
including one inch of seam allowance and I'm taking width around eight inch join these points and this will be the outline for pocket now from this corner mark a point at 3.5 inch now keep your hand and mark a point where you feel it will be comfortable so I'm marking point at 5 inch mark same 3.5 inch and join these points now I'll draw curve shape and I'll cut out the pocket On the curve side, I'm adding quarter inch of seam allowance and I'll cut it out. So this is a pocket pattern. Now I'll cut out the pocket on the final fabric. This fabric is on fold. So I'll just fold the pocket and I'll cut it out. So I've cut pocket in two pieces, one for each side. Now join both pieces, right sides together. This is very important, you need to keep right sides together. Now place the draft and cut out the curve shape. So I've cut out the pocket on the final fabric. I'll add piping to the pocket and for that I'll cut four straight strips these are 1.25 inch in width and i'll cut it out two for each pocket and this is how it will look to add piping on the curve side i'll cut bias tape again i'm taking width 1.25 inch and i'll cut it out Now place the bias tape on the pocket right sides together and make a stitch. So I made a stitch. Trim the extra fabric. Now fold the bias tape towards the back side like this and make a stitch on the edge. And this is how it will look now I'll fold the seam allowance on the back side like this and I'll make a stitch on the edge to secure it so I made a stitch and similarly I'll finish the other pocket now fold the seam allowance and make a stitch on both outer sides of the pocket. So I have finished the pocket. Now I'll attach it with the plazo. Place the pocket and pin it up like this. Now I'll make top stitch on the pocket to secure it with the plazo and while doing it I'll just insert the piping like this.
so i have attached the pocket now i'll stitch the palazzo and for that take one front side and one back side place front on the back right sides together and make a side stitch so i made a side stitch now i'll finish the bottom round and then i'll make a stitch on the inner side of the palazzo to finish the bottom round fold the seam allowance twice like this and make a stitch on the inner edge to secure it so i finished the bottom round now i'll stitch the inner side of the palazzo So I finished both legs. Now to join crotch, insert right side into the wrong side like this. Join center and front and back crotch. And make a stitch. So I made a stitch on the crotch. Now I'll cut the belt. Measure the waist. This is around 50 inch. I'm taking belt weight 3.5 inch. This is on fold so I'll just separate it. I have added join to complete the length of belt. Now I'll attach the belt. Firstly I'll stitch the joints. And now place right side of belt on the wrong side of the plaza waist and make a stitch all around the waist to secure it. So I made a stitch. Now keep the seam allowance direction upwards like this and fold the belt by half. Fold the seam allowance and now again I'll make a stitch to secure it. So I made a stitch and I have left around one inch of space to insert the elastic. Now I'll insert the elastic using safety pin. So I've inserted the elastic. Now overlap both ends and make few stitches to secure it like this. Now stretch the elastic. Close the opening. And I'll make few stitches on the elastic 
it will help to keep elastic in place and also it will distribute gathers all around the waist equally and with this my plaid plaza is ready if you try this pattern do share your creation with me and if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section i'll get back to you thanks for watching guys hope you like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and do subscribe my channel for more such videos i'll see you next week till then take care bye bye